Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Recently, there has been a stir in the chip industry. Have you heard about it? There is news that China no longer buys chips, while the United States has taken this opportunity to achieve a shift from export to domestic sales, successfully leaping to become the world's largest chip market. This news may sound a bit bizarre, so let us ordinary people also explore the mystery in depth. First of all, it is important to understand the background of this change. For a long time, China has been the world's largest importer of chips, and it needs to import a large number of various chips from the international market every year. These chips are widely used in a variety of electronic products such as mobile phones, computers, and televisions. There is no doubt that chips are an indispensable core in modern life. Without it, many electronic devices will be paralyzed. However, this situation has been quietly changing in recent years. The Chinese government has vigorously promoted the development of the local chip industry, striving to achieve self-sufficiency and reduce dependence on imported chips. To this end, the country has invested huge funds and resources to support the technology research and development and production of domestic chip companies. At the same time, domestic companies have also continuously worked hard to innovate and gradually improve their own technical strength and market competitiveness. Because of this, China's dependence on imported chips has been significantly reduced. In the past, China had to import hundreds of billions of dollars of chips from the international market every year, but now, this figure is declining year by year. Therefore, the statement that China no longer buys chips is not groundless. China no longer imports a large number of chips, and the impact on the global chip market is obvious, the US chip market has been able to counterattack. The United States has always occupied an important position in the chip industry, with many world-renowned companies, such as Intel, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA. However, in the past, most of the chips of these companies were sold to the Chinese market. After all, China is the world's largest electronic product manufacturing base, and the demand for chips is extremely large. With the rise of China's chip industry and the decline in its dependence on imported chips, American chip companies began to feel pressure and had to seek new markets to digest their products. As a result, the US chip market, which was originally at a disadvantage, began to gradually counterattack. American chip companies began to increase their investment and promotion efforts in the domestic market in order to occupy a larger share in the local market. At the same time, they actively sought cooperation with other countries to expand overseas markets. Therefore, the scale of the US chip market continued to expand, gradually surpassing the Chinese market and becoming the world's largest chip market. The counterattack of the US chip market is not accidental, and there are many complex factors behind it. First of all, it is worth noting that the US government attaches great importance to and supports the chip industry. In recent years, the US government has introduced a series of policies to support the development of the domestic chip industry. These policies not only provide financial support for enterprises, but also improve the industrial development environment, promote technological innovation, and industrial upgrading. Driven by these policies, the US chip industry has ushered in unprecedented development opportunities. Secondly, US chip companies themselves are also striving for change. Faced with changes in the Chinese market and intensified international competition, they did not choose to respond passively, but actively sought new market opportunities and development space. US chip companies have increased their investment in research and development, promoted technological innovation, and continuously improved the performance and quality of their products to adapt to changes in market demand. At the same time, they are also actively exploring cooperation opportunities with other industries to expand application areas and market scope. Finally, the overall changes and development trends of the global chip market cannot be ignored. With the accelerated advancement of digitalization and intelligence, 
the global demand for chips continues to grow. As a pioneer in the global chip industry, the United States has naturally become an important supplier to the global chip market with its advanced technology and strong production capacity. In addition, changes in the global trade environment and the impact of geopolitics have led more and more countries to pay attention to the development and security of their own chip industries, thus creating favorable conditions for the counterattack of the U.S. chip market. Although the counterattack of the U.S. chip market seems magnificent, it has also had a direct impact on the lives of ordinary people. First, the price of chip products may change. In the past, due to the strong demand in the Chinese market, U.S. chip companies were able to sell at higher prices. However, with the changes in the Chinese market environment and the counterattack of the U.S. chip market, the prices of these chip products may become reasonable and stable. For ordinary consumers, this is undoubtedly good news, which means that we can get high-quality chip products at a lower price. Secondly, the performance and innovation level of U.S. chip products are also constantly improving. In order to adapt to changes in market demand and maintain competitive advantages, U.S. chip companies continue to increase R&D investment and promote technological progress. This has enabled their chips to make significant progress in performance, power consumption and integration, and consumers will enjoy the convenience brought by more advanced and efficient products. Finally, the pattern of the global chip industry is changing. With the counterattack of the U.S. chip market, more chip companies may participate in the market competition in the future, which will further promote the development and innovation of the global chip industry and promote the optimization and upgrading of the entire industrial chain. Ordinary consumers can therefore expect more choices and better service experience. Faced with the phenomenon of the counterattack of the U.S. chip market, what attitude should we ordinary people take? First of all, rationality and objectivity are indispensable. Although this change seems mysterious, there are many complex factors and logic behind it. We cannot jump to conclusions or blindly follow the trend based on information or remarks from one aspect, but should understand and analyze from multiple angles to form our own comprehensive judgment and insights. Secondly, we should pay attention to and support the development of China's chip industry. Although the domestic chip industry has achieved certain results, there is still a big gap compared with the international advanced level. As ordinary consumers, we can contribute to the development of the domestic chip industry by choosing Chinese domestic chip products, paying attention to and supporting domestic chip companies, etc. Finally, an open and inclusive mindset is crucial. The global chip industry is a complex and diverse system involving the interests and relationships of many countries and companies. We cannot blindly worship the success of a certain country or enterprise, or belittle the efforts of other countries or enterprises. On the contrary, we should respect the efforts and contributions of each country and enterprise and promote the healthy development of the global chip industry. In short, although the counterattack in the US chip market is eye-catching, it also reflects the changes and trends in the global chip industry. As ordinary people, we can actively respond to these changes and challenges by paying attention to and supporting the development of the domestic chip industry, maintaining a rational and objective attitude, and adhering to an open and inclusive mindset. I believe that in the near future, we will be able to enjoy the convenience and comfort brought by more advanced and efficient chip products.